are getting gas and then the kill train's leaving. The plan is get there in time today to uh, get about four cameras up and uh, maybe watch a field or something and start kind of making a plan. It is freezing here. I'm about to run to Walmart and get me another jacket and uh, get started scouting. jacket on sale for three dollars i'll head to the land and uh get started looking for some old buck deers man Well, I found about three decent spots. Um, I got here at two, so I only had a couple hours to scout, and it's starting to get dark now, so I don't want to be bumping deer or nothing. But um, I fixed and got here and uh, walked the backside um, from where I walked yesterday. There's actually a little pinch point kind of between this farmer's cow fields and the next field's over, and I want to see what they're planting in too, and just um, ease back here and see what I can find. I guess I'm gonna kind of focus my efforts on the woods. I might walk this a little bit farther just to see if anything else is in here, but not really looking like they're headed toward these fields too much. All right, so I was walking along and I started to see more and more deer tracks and uh, found some acorns falling. You know, cracked one up, it was fresh, and uh, which I did not expect to see in January in Kentucky. But um, now what I'm gonna do is uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull out my compass on my phone. I'm gonna see which way Northwest is. Uh, there's, this is like a little flat bench and there's a steep holler on both sides. So I'm assuming they're gonna walk up this bench. So what I wanna do is figure out which way Northwest is and find me a tree. So when that front comes, we'll have a Northwest wind and I'll be on the downwind side of this bench. So the neighbors have a cutover behind me and uh, there's a bench that kind of goes down into this bottom, which is like probably the most likely spot across. Everywhere else is like a steep ravine and then there's this bench that comes down. <coughs> So I figured I'd check it out. I found some fresh acorns in another spot and I thought, well, that might have it and it's a good place for them to cross because there's probably some deer bedded in that cutover. So uh, come over here and look at it and um, there's rubs all through here and uh, they've, the deer have got the ground all tore up. Like they've been going through the leaves looking for acorns and uh, actually found some more fresh acorns. I don't know what kind of acorns these are, but uh, I know there's not a lot of food. There can't be a lot of food out here right now. So you can see where they're going through these leaves just tearing up. Uh, looking for these acorns. So this is gonna be another spot I'm gonna key in on. And uh, it's really starting to look like it's coming, kind of coming together. I mean, we got some options going now, so. Well, I think I'm just gonna ease down here and uh, glass this power line this afternoon. If these deer <clears throat> are using these ridges to feed on acorns, I should see something cross. So didn't see anything. I'm sitting out here in this tall grass, kind of tucked in, um, basically set up the glass. It's the afternoon of day three. Um, cameras have basically been dead. I've seen a few spikes and a group of does at night, and then I had like a decent body size shed buck and uh, like a spike in one camera this morning in daylight. Um, done some glassing so far, I hadn't even seen a deer. Once again, I did not see a deer. Um, it's kind of discouraging, I'm not gonna lie. Got a branch, had it fall down, land on my bow. Wanted to kind of bounce it off and pulled all my ears out my quiver. I had to climb down, get it. I'm drenched in sweat. It's the only rainproof clothes I have and it's not cold enough to be wearing them. Not seeing any deer on camera, haven't seen a deer from the stand. <clears throat> it only takes one. Just 
one deer has to walk by and change everything. Still have not seen a deer. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I, I've hunted this farm before and seen 20 deer a day. And some, I don't know, somebody's got a food plot somewhere or something that they've just got all the deer. I mean, there must be a field near here with 300 deer in it in the afternoon or something, I don't know. Been hunting private land, have not seen a deer. So uh, I'm actually out here on some public land today. And it is about uh, 2.30 or so. So I don't really have time to do scouting or nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my climber on my back and carry my bow and just take off. Um, basically what I found, there's this thick area that's got deer trails all in it where they're crossing. So I'm gonna walk through these open hardwoods to get to the back side of it, which is the downwind side. And then just walk along the edge of that clear cut until I see some deer sign like they've been leaving it. And uh, and that's kind of my game plan. Another pile of deer poop. Trucks right there. I've already found two piles of acorn framing right here. It's crazy. Freaking release broke. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? God! I have sat out here and I have froze for six days. I haven't even seen a deer. Finally, finally I come out here to public land, walk a mile, got a deer under me, got to draw back in my daggum release brakes. Are you kidding me? God! I'm getting down. I mean, are you kidding me? It's freaking ridiculous. Freaking just yeah. I think I got my release worked out. Got my back up. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and just strap this cast down and just check it before I go into the woods. But I got tied a string to a pole and pulled on it real hard with my good hand and it seems to be holding. I, mean, I don't know, but. I'm back out here at this public land I was hunting yesterday. Um, it snowed last night. It took me literally twice as long as I expected to get out here. Uh, not sure if I'll make it back, honestly. I've never driven in snow before, and uh, it's worse than mud, I'll tell you that. But it's kind of scary, actually. But um, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. First thing to do is just hunt. I'm here now, so. 
I'm gonna kind of go toward the area I was yesterday with this snow. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll see some tracks or something. So, if I see a bunch of tracks in one area, I'll find a straight tree and just climb it. So, we're gonna give it heck. Well, I found a bunch of tracks. I followed them till a bunch more tracks met up with them and they kind of meandered around all through here. Like they're walking through here, nosing up acorns or something. So, I think that's about as good as I'm gonna do in the dark. It's, uh, it should be like the same ridge I was hunting yesterday afternoon, but I'm not 100% sure. And here I was worried I wouldn't be able to get out. I wonder if they plowed this road or put salt on it or something. It was like four inches deep this morning. Um, decided to come and try this private land. I have permission to hunt again this afternoon. Uh, had a high of 24 degrees a day. So, and the, nothing moves this morning. So, uh, no cameras had anything on them this morning. So they ought to be moving good this afternoon. My bow rope is frozen. I have to use my mouth to get it off. Hopefully it'll warm up enough. It is the last day of deer season here in Kentucky. My last hunt until September, most likely last deer hunt. And uh, it's been a hard week. I don't think I've ever remembered having to hunt this hard just to kill a deer. I mean, about day, you know, I got here with hopes of killing a big buck and about day two or three, I said, I'm just gonna shoot a deer if I can because just wasn't seen a whole lot. And so far I had my butt whooped. One opportunity I've had, my release broke. So, anyway, um, it's a full moon. Normally, activity in the afternoon is pretty good on a full moon. So, and it's cold. It's about 27 right now. Snow everywhere. So, we'll see. Um, just gonna give it heck, and you know, whatever happens, I'm just blessed to be here and doing what I love. So, <sighs> we'll see. Make it with some snow around it so it don't melt and I'm gonna throw it out by where I'm hunting. It'll draw one in or maybe calm them down at least. Just figured it couldn't hurt. Well I'm settled in. Last hit of the year. I get about halfway up the tree. Here barking. Look over, 75 yards away comes two German shepherds running through barking at nothing. I'm tucked in here tight to what I would consider to be a bedding area, most likely. Just this thick stuff, so I know deer hurt them, but who knows. Unbelievable. Once again, I'm having to hold a hand warmer on my wrist or it won't work. So I have to literally sit here with a hand warmer on it. Then if a deer comes, I take it off and shoot real quick before it freezes. It's been one big mess for a whole week.
Oh, she can't handle that. She's down. She's down right there. Man, these last five minutes of the last day here in Kentucky, and I finally got it done, son. Whew, I just knew I was going to go home empty handed. Man, I have never in my life, if there's ever been a time I've earned a deer, it was, th it was this trip. <sighs> finally. <laughs> Man. I'm who never earned a deer like this trip right here. Yes! <laughs> Finally got it done here in Kentucky. I watched them fall, but we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna kinda look at the blood trail anyway. It's kinda thick in here, so I ain't sure if I'd be able to walk right to them or not. Oh, there's my arrow. blood all over it. See if we can follow the blood trail. Blood there. Oh, there she is. Hey, that's a little one. Guess I'm gonna drag her over here and go get the other one. Oh, there's my arrow. Hey, blood, 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 blood. The snow makes the blood trail easy. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, it's a little nubbin buck. Thought it was two does, ended up being a button head. Huh. <laughs> Man. Well, I guess my snowball worked. Um, the last minute of the last day, after eight grueling days here in Kentucky, I was blessed with what I thought was two does. It ended up being a doe and a button head. Um, but I watched both of them fall and you know, easy recovery on both of them and just happy to get it done here in Kentucky. I'll tell you what, I have never, if there's ever been a deer I earned, it was these right here. I mean, to sit out here in the snow and freezing cold, I mean, like the high yesterday was 24 degrees. I just ain't used to all that. So I thought I was going to go home empty handed, but I was blessed to get it done here in Kentucky. <laughs>